think I'm just gonna stand on by him Why'd you waste my time, but I Of course I love you, Johnny! To another vlog my name is jessica but you can call me jess please do not call me what's the what is that please do not call me jesse because i do not like that mess i am starting a brand new vlog after two months of going ghost on youtube um i say youtube because i really haven't been ghost i've been actually living life um, I haven't been away being upset. I've been living a very private life. <laughs> My life has been actually good. Um, so I took my break and I guess we can just talk about it. The reason why I took a break y'all, um, this was actually intentional. When I posted that video on what, the 1st of January, right? And I said, I'm leaving YouTube, right? It's my last video, YouTube video forever. Did I say that? I don't think I said I was leaving YouTube. <laughs> I'm playing. I did say that. But I really didn't go into detail of why. I left because I was overstimulated. Um, I was tired of... I was tired of vlogging. Not, also, not just vlogging, I was tired of having my life on display. And usually, you know, like we always tell y'all, and when I say we, I'm speaking of anybody that's a content creator, a vlogger, anybody that does social media, we don't show our whole life, but we show snippets. I was tired of showing y'all the snippets. I ain't want y'all to know nothing. I was tired of it. I was tired of sharing, okay? So, um, I actually came to that right, re re oh, can't even talk, y'all. Ooh, I'm so excited to be back, but, and we're gonna get into that too. I was actually just tired of sharing, and I actually came into that re realization back in, when I was doing my Vlogmas videos. Um, I think around that time when I posted my Love Triangle video, which is very true story, it was a very true story. Um, and I actually was in another girl. Yeah, I'm, I'm very, I'm a toxic dater, okay? So if y'all are new here, but we're not talking about that right now. We're not talking about that right now. But anyway, when I posted that, I was like, why did I think they should know that? That video is still up and I don't care. I don't care what people think. Uh, cause it's a true story and I feel like that somebody could relate to it or someone would have found some entertainment in it and it was my life at the moment. Uh, but anyway, right around when I was posting that, it wasn't like I was feeling bad for posting it or I shouldn't post it. It was just kind of like, why say anybody business? Like, you know what I'm saying? And it was getting into that point where I was like, you know, I was just posting just the post during vlogmas because Y'all, I work a nine to five. I work from home. I'm a single mama of a 15 year old. Um, I have one child. Uh, let's see, what else I do? 
Like it was, it was getting a little boring. It was, and, and, and it wasn't like it was getting a little boring. It was getting a little uh, like repetitive. My life was really, really repetitive around uh, Vlogmas time. And then I just got Vlogmas really, really shifted my mindset of like, baby, you need to take a little break out of this. And that little break was like, you know what, Jessica, you need to take a long break. So I was planning on being gone for a month. I really was. And I was like, you know what, I really, like, really like this. Then around Valentine's Day come up, I was like, I really, really like this. I really like being private. I really, really like, I really, like, I don't have to pick up my camera. I could, I could pick it up when I feel like it. I don't have to be you know urgent to post you know i don't get paid off of youtube anyway i don't get paid from this anyway that's how i was feeling and i definitely was not picking up the camera <laughs> uh whatever y'all get uh in this vlog because this is an introduction of a vlog y'all get snippets of my life and when i mean snippets i'm talking about snippets of what i decided to post in this vlog it might not be all the way put together, but I just wanted to start off a new video and put some out there so I can clean out this camera roll and, and start off fresh. I got some videos coming up. Let's speak about the future here. And let's speak about the right now, okay? So I got some videos coming up. And, you know, it's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of stuff. I don't really want to tell y'all. I'm going to keep it as a surprise. But it's a lot of stuff that y'all been wanting to see from me and y'all haven't seen from me or y'all seen some of it from me and I really ain't went all in with it when I was, you know, posting between, uh, during 2022 when I became first bit of a vlogger. Y'all was seeing snippets of some things and I was like, why y'all don't show that? I think some of the comments that y'all was posting in my last video and I want to thank y'all by the way and I'm going to get into that too as well. But the comments that y'all was posting on the video that I said my last YouTube video and y'all was saying like, Oh, you should do this. You could do. You could do that. Blah blah blah. Trust me. Okay, it's coming, my darlings. Okay, now let's get into those comments real quick. I, I first of all, thank you, thank y'all, thank you to everyone that commented on that last video, um, and thank y'all to the ones that reached out to me. Okay, that's important as well. So thank you to those who commented. Thank you to those who reached out to me and just cared for my well-being. Uh, Cause y'all know, like in my past, I've dealt with a lot of mental health issues and y'all know that gets real scary. So the fact that some people was checking on me just cause of that, I really appreciate that. And then the ones that was commenting, thank you. I think it was just a disconnect on what I meant. And I definitely wanna apologize for what I meant what I said is what I meant, but I think y'all took it. So that, let, let, let's let let's get into that too. I said what I said on all my videos. I said what I said from all my life, all of my life updates, uh, all that I've uh, addressed in the past. It's real deal, Holyfield. Uh, so I don't take back nothing I said. Um, especially when I said it was my last YouTube video and I think it was some of the comments that I was making about I seen enough, I heard enough. Yeah, I seen enough and I heard enough. I was overstimulated. Like, it was just too much. And y'all know I'm not getting paid off this. I'm not used to YouTube. I only did YouTube for a year. Okay? And I have a lot of learning to do. And I really appreciate those that don't write me off and don't take... and don't and don't And just take the time out to give me that reassurance because that's really what i totally need is the reassurance like if you have a friend even if you have a friend that's doing this you give her reassurance or you give them reassurance that's exactly what i needed during that time was that reassurance during that whole time that i was vlogging i was like oh you're doing a good job blah blah, blah. and y'all know i went through mental health issues hold on my mom is calling hold on y'all sorry y'all that was my mama calling okay but anyway y'all um yeah thank y'all anyway let's not get into that but thank y'all so much that thank you to the people that are still watching my channel um that never that are were still watching my channel before i you know exited and didn't give up on me didn't write off on me whatever like that didn't you know just didn't give up on me 
I am a human being just like anybody else that you know on this platform. Just like anybody else that you know on this platform, I am a human being. And I really appreciate appreciate those that have remained patient with me. Um, I am not perfect by any means. I don't even try to be perfect, but you know, everybody got their tolerance levels. And like I said, I was overstimulated by the whole thing, not by people, by the whole thing. You know, ain't nobody important enough for me to just exit YouTube because of a person. I ain't YouTube. I didn't exit YouTube because of no people, nobody. It was because of me. I was overstimulated, okay? And I was sick of sharing. I was sick of sharing. I was sick of talking. I was I was sick of picking up the camera. I was sick of it, okay? And that's just that, you know? Ain't no explaining. So, but I just wanted to make y'all aware of where, I, where my head was, you know what I'm saying? So, anyway, y'all, I'm coming back to y'all. I got two nails that popped off. I'm not coming back on this channel looking looking well put together. This is not a clean cut channel by any my any any means. And I want to make this clear from from now this video. And this video is just just clips of my life or whatever like that. But then after this video, it's going to get a little bit more intentional. So I just want to let y'all know on this video that y'all about to watch is just clips of what I decided to share or what's been going on. But from after the after this video you know videos will be a little bit more intentional wise types of videos it's gonna be still some vlogs here and there um at least weekly it might be two week it might be two videos uh two vlogs a week but then it's gonna be some videos here and there that are gonna be like intentional videos where i'm gonna be talking about other topics and sharing things with y'all and being more informational on my channel so I'm gonna be more informational on this channel, okay? Of things that I know, which I've already have been. For those who've been watching my videos, I've been very, very informational, but not to my, I wasn't living up to my potential when it came to YouTube. And I really got a lot of, I got sidetracked a lot. And let's get to the deep end on this. I, I left this, I left this part for the last. And then we're going to talk about some other things. And then we're going to get into the video. But, um, you know, like I said, I was dealing with mental health and stuff like that. And um, I got a little distracted. I got a little distracted because it was a lot of things that I actually wanted to share on my channel. But I got distracted and I let people distract me and I think I was seeking validation from the wrong people or I was expecting, and, and it went, might not have been from the wrong people. I think what it was is that I was expecting too much out of people. I was expecting, I, I was expecting too much out of people that I did not know. And I think the type of person I am is that I, if I really, really like you, I want you to really, really like me. Even though I really, really like you and I don't know you, I want you to really, really like me and you don't know me. That's how it was with me. So I got really, really distracted on that. And that really, really stuck my growth on YouTube. I could have been further. And I blame myself. I blame myself. I don't put no blame on no, Look, I, like I said in the beginning, I don't know if y'all called that. Ain't nobody that important for me to be tripping off of. It ain't nobody that important for me to blame for how my life is going on YouTube, okay? Now, let's talk about that. My personal life, my personal life has been booming, has been thriving. I got, I got, I've started two new positions at work. We knew and approved Jessica. Let's not get into deep, deep detail about that. We talk about that during these new vlogs and blah, blah, blah for 2023. But I just want to let y'all know that I am coming back to YouTube with a new attitude. I am tired and tired and tired of being depressed, baby. Now, depressed ain't no cure for depression, okay? And there was times, even today, even today, that I had a little episode. I'm like, oh, my God, like, why am I so sad? But that's everybody. And that don't mean that you're depressed. It's just your mind. You know, sometimes you think about something, you know, randomly, and it makes you sad. You know what I'm saying? So I have to... You know, that takes time. You know, all that stuff takes time. But I will say that I won't do and I won't let that control me no more. I will not let that control me anymore. 
okay? And I'm going to try my best. Remember, I'm not per I'm not perfect. I'm going to try my best to not let it control me, okay? So, that's all I wanted to say. I wanted to introduce myself again. My name is Jessica, okay? I am 33 years old. I am from H-Town. I am from Houston, Texas. I got a lovely 15-year-old daughter that I love dearly. Um... Let's see, what else? I don't know. Maybe you should watch my videos to figure out what else. <laughs> I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for my support. I mean, for your support, my support. Thank y'all so much for your support. There is so much to me, y'all. It's just it's late at night and my brain has gone poof. I just wanted to go ahead and introduce this video. I'm in the middle of another video that y'all gonna see later on this month. It might be the next week after this video. It might be the same week. I don't know. Depending on how quickly I can get this up and how much footage I got. But anyway, on to this vlog. And I hope you guys enjoy. Oh, one more thing. One more thing. Let's get into enjoy. Let me tell y'all something about this YouTube. Okay? Let me tell y'all how new and improved my attitude is. If y'all watch my videos, thank you. If you don't watch my videos, that's cool too. I like creating these videos. I have gotten to the point where I'm like, you know what? The reason why I kept putting up the stuff is not because I was overstimulated from sharing. Yes, okay. Let's 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 look at it. I was overstimulated from sharing my life. But was I but I was not tired of one thing that I was not tired of is editing. That sounds crazy. I understand. I might be insane. I like editing. I think it's art. I like looking for music. If y'all want a video on that or how, my, how I find my music or what makes me, I'm a music person. So I don't know if that can help y'all as much because if you're not a music person, how it's gonna help you. But I can make a video of how I find my music. It's kind of similar to a lot of people, a lot of people's videos that talk about how they find music. It's the same way how I do it. But if y'all want to know how I find my music, that's cool. I'll do a video on that. But look, I like finding my music for my videos. I like editing, trying to find, putting the clips together. I think it's art. It's, vi it's videography. I love it. Okay? I, I was always into videography. And it's an art. So, look. Like I said, in, in, in order for y'all to understand what I'm saying right now, because I'm kind of I'm kind of drifting off to another subject right now, another topic. And I'm sorry, because, yeah, that ain't cool. But what I'm telling y'all is that Look, I do not get paid on this platform. And when I do, keyword when, I know who to take with me. When I make it to the top, when I have all this money and I got all this success, I know who to take. I know who to take with me. Okay? But I'm going to let you know for right now, look, if I get five views, if I get 20 views, if I get 30 views, if I get 40, if I get 10, if I get zero, it's okay because I truly enjoy making these videos. Okay? As far as how I'm sharing and what I'm sharing on these videos, that was something that I made myself responsible into kind of working on for myself. I need I needed to work on that because I don't want to overshare and that is a trauma response. I definitely don't want to overshare that is a it's a huge trauma response okay and i want to make sure uh that whatever i'm sharing is intentional and good for my channel and good for my audience and if you guys find the things that i have shared in the past entertaining please comment below that's what comments are for if y'all don't comment i don't know i don't know what y'all like to see i don't know what's funny and I've gotten some comments over over that year, over the year that I was, you know, doing my vlogging where it was like, oh, I like this. Oh, I like this. You, And I have listened. Every time somebody has commented and they said, oh, I like how you do this. I like, and then I will keep doing it. Okay. So that's it. If, if, if you don't comment, that's cool. I'm just going to keep, keep rolling. But I will tell y'all that I'm going to be a little bit more intentional and be more informational on my videos because I think I'll be showing y'all some stuff, but I think it'd be getting lost in the sauce 
in my videos and I definitely want to apologize about that because I just been I was just very distracted. I was very I have to be honest. I was very distracted because of my mental health. Y'all know I went through that whole birth control scare. A lot of scares, you know, when you take birth control for the first time and and then I was, you know, did those little it was just a lot. If y'all have not seen those videos, please check those out. That's when I first started vlogging. I started vlogging as a trauma response. I literally started vlogging as a trauma response. Then I let go two friends that I didn't even want to let go. I was grieving that decision. Y'all, do y'all understand that I did not want to not be friends with those. I really wanted to still be friends with those two girls. I literally still, I, I felt like, man, it's not worth you leaving those friendships alone. Y'all can get, y'all can get through it. Just talk it out. Blah, blah, blah. No. Like, literally. I literally wanted to do that. I wanted to talk that out and, and get through it and still continue to be friends with those girls. But I had to grieve from the good decision because that was a good decision that I made to let those friendships go. I had to let those go. And I really appreciate you guys actually seeing that and not looking it at it as being, oh, Jessica, she not no good person because she let two friends go. When if y'all really listen to the reasons and the fact of the matter that I didn't want to let those girls go, y'all will get that I was sad about it. I was sad about it. It's just how I was presenting myself on those videos. It's like, ooh, I don't care. Baby, I cared. I wouldn't be talking about it. I cared so much about those two women. And I had to let them go. And I'm, I'm on the step saying girls. Those women. I love them. They was like my sisters. And I had to let them go. Okay? Do I miss them? Yes. But do I miss being friends or miss, miss them being my friends? No. Okay? And I really thank you guys for seeing that I was really grieving from those friendships. And it's not to say that they were my only friends. I have plenty of friends. But not friends on the level of they were. That's why y'all, if y'all see me in public... Y'all might see me by myself. Okay? I don't know why we talking about that. But y'all might see me by myself. Because a lot of people, y'all gonna see me by myself. Y'all gonna see me by myself. But that don't mean I don't got no friends. I just don't got no friends like the ones I had. I have friends that like different things than I do. So when I hang out with those friends that have different interests, we hanging out probably at their house. We probably hanging when we got our kids. Stuff like that. And I'm not vlogging those moments. Because that's a little bit like intimate. I'm not going to vlog when they got their kids. And I got my kids. And they doing all kind of stuff. I don't put people's kids on my channel. You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all get what I'm saying, y'all. So it's not like I don't have no friends. Because I was hearing that. But it's cool. It's cool. Which I'm not explaining. I'm just letting y'all know. So when y'all see me, I'm letting y'all know. I'm not explaining. When y'all see me by myself, it's because the people that I have in my life currently do not share most of those same interests. That don't mean I'm going to stop being friends with them. I've been friends with those people for, look, 10, 10, almost 20 years, some of them. Okay, so I want to make sure I put that out there. And I know this is a long intro, and I'm going to shut up. On to the vlog. I love y'all so much, and I'm back, y'all. Can you believe it? I'm back. It's been two months. Let's get to the videos. And I hope you guys like, comment, share, subscribe this video, whatever, with your friends and family. I don't know how you say it no more, because I've been going for a long time on to the vlog. I love y'all. Bye. Well, good afternoon, you guys. It's another day in the vlog, and I'm going to keep saying another day in the vlog because I don't know how I'm doing this vlog, y'all. I'm going to be honest. Y'all know I'm getting back to it. So, it is a Saturday. <laughs> um, I don't even know the date. I think it's like, what, February 11th? I know it's like Valentine weekend, Super Bowl weekend, like that. Like, it's like a Super Bowl weekend. That's what I'm going to call it. But anyway... We are on our way to, I got, I just ran a couple of errands already. I just picked y'all up. I was like, let me just pick them up. Um, I had to return a shirt. I don't know if y'all heard of this store. It's called, it, it's actually like a little 
bralette tank shirt that I got from ooh, let me put on my seatbelt that I got from um Melrose. I know y'all heard of Melrose. It's, I don't know if that's a Texas thing or whatever, but it's a lot of them in Houston. They be having like fast fashion and it'd be super dirt cheap. And I wanted to wear like an undershirt with my outfit last night. Um, like it was like a pink undershirt, but I ended up wearing like that, uh, a white bra and a jean jacket in my, uh, as y'all seen, or whatever. I don't know if I'm inserting the outfit or not. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know how this vlog going. But, um, but yeah, I was real cute last night. I had a good time. I didn't get home until almost five o'clock last night, which is unacceptable. So I slept in this morning. So that's why we're having a late start. It's like literally like one something. And I had to return that shirt. It was really cute. I got these from Fashion House, by the way. So it's some new, uh, like blue frames. They have to grow on me, y'all. Cause I'm a green person. I'm not a blue person. But with the right, I guess, aesthetic, I don't know. Maybe it'll look good. So, I, I want to do my hair like this. I think that'd be cute. But, yeah, y'all, we got a lot of stuff that we're going to do today. I don't know if I'm montaging it or I'm just going to talk to y'all. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do all of this. I'm just saying. So, I hope y'all vibing with me. I hope y'all still watching. Because I don't know what part of the vlog I'm going to put this in. Cause later on, I'm gonna probably give me something good to eat. I'm hungry, y'all. I think I think the last time I ate was a Chick Fil A kids meal yesterday, and that I ate that at like 6 p.m. Why are they beeping the horn? Why are they beeping this horn? And the light is the light green. Oh, the light green. But it's the cars are stopped. So what y'all gonna do about it? Anyway, y'all. But yeah, my makeup is a five-minute makeup job or whatever you want to call it because literally I took some primer and some concealer and I just mixed it all up together and whatever was left over on my makeup brushes from last night, I just start blending, baby. So I don't know if I'm looking real like a white cast or I'm looking weird. But in person, it's real cute. So but yeah, I'm in love with the sunglasses. And I got some silver jewelry on. Like, this is from the, that store off of Harwin. This is silver studs. And this is my cancer necklace that I got from Miss A. Yeah, I don't overdo it with the jewelry anymore like that. Like, I'll layer necklaces, but I won't, like, wear big earrings as much anymore. I don't know what's gotten into me. I'll wear, like, if I have to and it goes with the, with the style, yeah. But I just don't overdo it like that. I don't have to. So... And then these are the nails. I don't know if I showed y'all. I don't know what I'm adding into this vlog, but these are my nails. I have some red nails that I'm wearing for Valentine's and Valentine's week. But these are my pre-Valentine's nails. These are so cute. I got these from Shein. They're hella long. Hella long. You know, people can't drive. People can't drive. Strawberry with chili lime seasoning. What? It's white chocolate on that too? Yeah. Who would eat that? That's so different. Go with the kid, got it, got it. Pull up with a stick, stop it, stop it. Rich nigga shit, solid. Rich nigga, oh, honey, pockets rotted, got it. I go to space with the stars, star. I smoke a blunt with my pilot, cookie. Saturn, moon, Earth, from Mars. Mars. NASA take off with the rocket. Half a million on the necklace, hat. Young rich niggas, we successful, successful. Say she wanna feel special. What? Well, and Coco make her feel special. Coco. I kinda hunted the battle, my honey. I can't too hunt in the battle, too hunt. I might go put all my chains on. I just might change up the weather. Change the pop a perky pussy weather. Top of the morning vlog. It's another day in the vlog. It is Super Bowl Sunday. Um, we just got out of church like not too long ago. Um, I'm actually headed to the mall. Right now we're doing our usual. We do this like twice a month. We go to Starbucks and uh, get us some, like, some frappuccinos. I got a matcha frap with oat milk and a shot of espresso. And my daughter got the ribbon crunch. With extra caramel. With extra caramel in it. But yeah, we on our way to the mall to Zara. We're just going to Zara, Zara and Miss A because um, it's Valentine's week. The next time I wear this wig, y'all, I'm not going to do no baby hairs. I feel like it'd be cute with no baby hairs. So yeah, that's, what's, that's the agenda. And of course, later on, we're going to watch the Super Bowl with family. I don't think I'm going nowhere. 
to watch it. I don't usually do that. I just be with family. We be eating, pigging out. Because I got to work tomorrow. And then Tuesday is Valentine's. Mm -mm. It's too much going on. <laughs> anyway, y'all, uh, we'll catch y'all in the next clip. Wherever that is and whatever that means. Bye. Okay, y'all, so I'm at HEB. Look at this table. It's so cute. I want that. Look at that. It's so cute. I really like these. These roses. I like it. I'm in love with it. They got the Hershey's. Snickles. Wait, do y'all see the Snicker one? Oh, yeah, it's behind her. It's so cute, y'all. Look at this. It's just gorgeous. I love it, I love it, I love it. What's that song by Fantasia? I love it, I love it. Yes, I love it. <laughs> oh, look at these orange roses. And that's my favorite flower, y'all. Orchids. Favorite. Favorite flower. Oh, I like this balloon. So, so cute. I just wanted to show y'all this table. It's so, oh, look at this flower arrangement down there. Get y'all. I'll pick y'all back up in a little while. I don't know. Bye. Okay, I'm ready. Baby, you can save them lives for a bitch that wanna hear them. For a bitch that's gonna believe them. Psych. So y'all, I'm, I'm about to do my hair, y'all. I'm about to curl it and everything. I just did like a little, I did a pass through, it was curly. This is not the wig that I was wearing in the earlier clips of the vlog. This is like my older wigs. I like when synthetic wigs get a little old cause they're easy to, they're easier to manipulate. So I'm probably gonna do like, just kind of like a blowout look. I don't know what I'm trying to do, but I know I want layers. That's all I know. But I did put on my, but anyway, y'all, I put on these nails. These are from Shein. These are not the same quality as those pink and white nails that I had on earlier in the vlog. Um, but these are actually still just as cute. I don't know if y'all can see the whole thing. Like the thumbs are solid, the middle finger solid, the pinky solid, and then it has like the designs and the index and ring fingers. This lash, this ain't, this the last time I'm wearing this pair because I have a whole pack of these, that same style. So anyway, y'all, so I'm not ready yet. I don't have jewelry on, I don't have that. And yeah, it is Valentine's Day. I'm actually getting ready for a mega Valentine's night. Um, we're going to this restaurant called Seal, Seal, whatever. I'm not vlogging. It's a, um, I don't know. I don't know what you call it. They trying to be like Miami. I've actually seen it a few times and I was like, okay. I'm not pulling out my camera tonight, so this is what y'all gonna get. But anyway, y'all, I'm enough talking because I wanna like watch um, these few episodes, well, a couple of episodes of Harlem. Probably, I'm probably gonna get in a half an episode because I'm probably gonna be done in like 30 minutes. And then we're gonna talk about the show because I got something to say about the show. So we're gonna speed up this hair curling. And y'all, it is so early in the night. It is like, what, 6.15? I think it's about 6.15 and I have to be out the door at seven. So anyway, y'all, I'm doing too much talking. I will catch y'all when I'm done or doing something to myself. Bye. Uh, yeah. They say that all your old girls got somebody new. I said, damn, really? Even Rosemary, even Leanne Sealy, they said fucking right. They were the first to go. Just that all the women that you slept on were working though They were saving up New niggas came around, they were waking up And I swear, you don't know the city anymore They might have loved you before But you're out here doing 
Everything is curled. I don't know if I'm gonna run my fingers through it. I'm probably not. I'm trying to just gonna play with it all night. I need to fix up here. I'm not doing baby hairs. I want everything to be not put together. And I want everything to look as natural as possible. As don't even tell me y'all. I know this looks a little crooked. It's not placed crooked, but I think this part like it's curving like this little front. But I'm gonna leave it as is because I don't care. And if he's able, the, the guy that I'm going on the Valentine's Day with, I mean date with, is that if he could tell it, I don't need to be, that means it's, it's, it tells me a lot about myself. I shouldn't be on that date with him. If he telling me my part crooked, something going on. Stop it. Denial is a river in Egypt. So, <laughs> but anyway, y'all, let me fix this part. But yeah, I might as well just talk to y'all while I kind of finish, do the final touches. This took me like 10 minutes. I'm taking all a little, cause I barely like straightened this wig out. I didn't want it to be perfect. Um, as y'all can tell it's not, but I didn't want nothing to be perfect on this wig. So I think that part looks good, the top part. Ooh, look, I need to fix that. Yeah, like I said, it was like a little wand curls up in this wig. I was like, uh-uh. Like literally, I always be putting wand curls up in this wig. I don't know. I guess it's a habit and it don't be turning out good either. So I don't know what I be thinking. Okay, I need to put on jewelry and stuff like that. I already have my fragrance on. I got Jo Malone, Vetiver and Golden Vanilla. So yeah, had that on. And then I'm gonna put on Red Temptation from Zara. I put y'all on that Jo Malone, Vetiver and Golden Vanilla. I think around this time last year. And then that Red Temptation, I put y'all on to that during Vlogtober. So, I uh, still wear those faithfully. But anyway, I don't know why we talk about fragrances because we're gonna talk about that probably later on in the vlog because I told y'all I'm getting some new stuff. I don't know if I'm putting that in the beginning of the vlog or at the end of the vlog, I don't know how I'm doing this. But the hair turned out cute. I was gonna cut some more layers into it, but I think I ended up cutting layers in it before. And that's why I lay it. it's laying so good. So we're gonna leave it as is. The place that we're going to, it does not have no dress code. I don't know if we're going to seal or we, it's C-I-E-L. I don't know if we're going there or he said another place. I will have to contact him because I'm very early now. Like it took me 10 minutes to do this hair. So we good, hold on. My memory, y'all know I ain't been posting. I don't know if I said this in my last vlog, my last, the one that said last YouTube video, that I said I don't do much with jewelry anymore, or I said it in this one. But, uh, y'all, I do not overdo it no more with the jewelry. So I'm probably gonna wear some gold studs, which I am. These would have been appropriate, you know what I'm saying? Without, say the necklace wasn't there. Not, not with the necklace, without the necklace. Like these would have been very appropriate. These are so, so cute. But I think these are a little bit more classier. My outfit is not classy. 
sue me, talk about me in your video, I don't care. Bless our sister. She don't know. She in that phase. I know you. But outfit is not classy at all. Okay? It's trashy. But it's cute. It's slutty cute. <laughs> So, y'all, I'm over here struggling because I'm, I'm looking for those um, gold studs. Okay, I found them. I found them. I have to organize my jewelry again. I need to organize my life again. Um, you would think when, during my break uh, from YouTube that I would have done all that, but I didn't. So, I need to put on my glasses because it's not, you know, my looks never give without glasses. I be looking so so good with my glasses. Speaking of that, I get my eyes checked in like a week or so. So I'm gonna take y'all along. I don't, I don't know if that's boring to y'all. I don't know. But I wear glasses. My vision is almost like 2020 or whatever like that. That's why y'all be seeing me wear like blue lights and sunglasses and stuff. Really my optometrist has told me just to wear sunglasses to protect my eyes from the rays or the the sun rays or whatever you want to call it yeah i'll be wearing like my blue lights and stuff these are my favorite pair so ooh, on video it might not be that cute but in person it's giving sexy but these need to be cleaned they got dust all over them where is my rag for these okay so I cleaned them as best I can. Yeah, it's better. Oh, it's giving wow. And, per and like person, I'm looking like wow. I don't know, the camera never gives me, you know, I want my hair to be like sexy, like 70s, 70s slut. I don't know if we could say slut on YouTube, but <laughs> y'all, I don't care who judge me, y'all. I want to wear my Fitbit. Okay, I got my Fitbit. <laughs> Y'all like, you wearing a Fitbit? Yes, because my it's just like an Apple Watch. Like all my calls go to my uh, Fitbit, just in case like my phone and my purse, I don't feel like doing it. I could just kind of handle everything on my Fitbit. I don't know. Does it look kind of tacky? I don't know. And it kind of has my location on it. It's actually a safety measure that I'm doing this for. I know y'all gonna be like, what the hell? But it's kind of a safe. Like, I've been, look, I know this guy. I've been dating him for, like, quite some time. But just in case something happens to us, like, not just me. Something might happen to him, too. I want to be able to be able to be tracked. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to get this uh, bracelet on. I hate doing anything with nails. That's why I don't get my nails done. That's one of the reasons why I don't get my nails done and why I wear press-ons. But yeah, let's start talking about this show. I'm rambling. You're supposed to be talking about this show, Harlem. Um, so if you guys don't watch it, uh, Harlem has been renewed for season two. I watched all the episodes in season one and I'm already caught up with season two. And it was a girl on TikTok. And when I say a girl on TikTok, because I don't remember her name, but if I find the clip, I will either insert it or if I find out her name, I will put the name on the screen. So someone please tell me, I don't know if it's just me or what, but I can no longer support the show Harlem. The show comes on Amazon Prime Video and it's about four best friends living in Harlem. And media and TV, they do this shit every time. They're always um, trying to live up to this black woman stereotype. And it's always the dark skinned woman. Like I can't do it. I can't take it anymore. Um, because we know that it's not just coincidence. We know that everything that they write and direct and um, want to put out there is very calculated. Let me show you the cast. Hold on. This, these are the cast members. Of course, Megan Good and sis over here, Angie. She plays Angie. She is the one who is broke um lives on her best friend's couch her couch does not pay rent can't hold a job very over sexualized um just you know ratchet um makes irrational decisions constantly and 
yeah, I just can't do it. It's actually pretty cringy for me to watch. Um, I don't know, this season has just been turned up a notch, I feel like. She was talking about uh, the characters on the show and how, I don't like how this looks. She was talking about the characters on the show and how everybody has like this storyline to them. And I was looking at, it's not hot. I was looking at the video, like her video, and I was kind of like, she's kind of overreacting because I'm kind of like, if you didn't watch a lot of sitcoms growing up, rom-coms, um, a lot of shows with, even if it was black shows, white shows, whatever shows, it needs to have a storyline and everybody has to have a story behind their character, if that makes any sense to you guys. People are complaining that they're over-sexualizing her character. And that's what I wanted to talk about. If you guys watch Harlem, do you think that they're over-sexualizing? Oh, and basically, just to give y'all a spiel of what she looks like, she's uh, a little bit more heavy, heavier set, and she's dark-skinned. I just don't know her name. But um, I think her character is, in my opinion, I don't think they're over-sexualizing the character. I think she's playing the character very well. And she's following the script of the storyline because that's what the storyline is about. But like I said, people like to, you know, get into an uproar about certain things or they like to get upset about certain things. And that's what the girl was saying. She said that I'm on her on that TikTok video that I'm talking about. She was saying that she's no longer going to watch the show or entertain the show because of the elements of the show and how they're old. They, she feels like that they're over sexualizing homegirl you know, the darker one. And me, in my opinion, is that I didn't look at the storyline like that. I looked at the storyline as like the, the the girl that were the woman, I, I gotta stop saying girl, but the woman that we're speaking of, um, she's actually liber, she's a very liberated character. Um, she's just trying to find her way. She's having fun with men. Um, the thing, I don't, I never heard her say I think at one point she was saying that she was looking for love, but I think she's just trying to find her way in life, period. And whatever, you know, success that falls in her lap, she's going to be welcome to it. She's going to welcome that success, whether it's love, whether it's her career. She's just trying to find her way. And that's how I look at the character. But y'all let me know in the comments below if y'all feel like that um, that show is over-sexualizing her character. Because y'all gonna be like, Jessica, what girl you don't know the, you don't know these names you be watching the show faithfully yes okay so i'm about to get out the door i want to show you i can't show y'all too much it's youtube my outfit not that bad i'm going to wear a trench coat over it i'm not going to show y'all the full fit but i just wanted to show y'all what i did or kind of parts of how my outfit look i don't know i don't know how to describe this y'all this shirt i changed it from a bodysuit to a crop top. Yes, it's a raw edge. I was going to fold it in and sew it, but it looks like I'm going to fold it in and tuck it. So that's what we looking like. Super hooch. But it's Valentine's Day, baby. You got to pull out all the stops on Valentine's Day. Yes, you could look classy, but me, I do not follow the rules. And I am my own person, okay? And this is my day, okay? So if I choose to wear something, there's me, okay? But anyway, um, then the leggings, I can't really show much. I cannot turn around, but the leggings are the same material. I didn't do nothing to the leggings. I just cut the tags out. I cannot turn around, but you guys, it's so cute. And I'm glad that I got rid of the bodysuit. And like I said, you guys, I'm wearing a trench coat. It is kind of rainy outside and it's in like the 60s. So a trench coat would be cute. And then I just think a trench coat is very appropriate. Wink, wink. <laughs> it's very appropriate. And you know, I'll be able to go anywhere with that trench coat on, on top of my outfit. And then when I sit down, I can definitely take it off. So let me fix this angle. So yeah, make sure y'all guys let me know in the comments below about, I need to comb this. I'm not liking this top part. And I need to get out the door now because I've been talking to y'all and it's been quite a while. And it's not supposed to be no chit chat, get ready with me. So I don't know what was I doing, but I just definitely wanted y'all uh, feedback on that. 
But anyway, y'all, I hope that y'all had a great Valentine's Day because I know I'm about to. I actually already had a great Valentine's Day so far today. So today or tonight, um, we're hoping for the best that everything, you know, comes out perfect, which I, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to the night and the evening. I am not vlogging. I will see y'all in the next clip. And the next clip, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. It's probably gonna be a week from this clip. So, next clip. See y'all next clip. Oh, by the way, y'all, I forgot to share this with y'all. So, why did I cut off the camera? And I didn't show you like one of my favorite things that I have purchased in the past month or two. Y'all, look at this purse. This purse is so cute. I love it. It's from Shein. It's so abstract. It's just cute. And it matches my nails. Okay, bye. I just wanted to show y'all my purse. But isn't it so lovely? I think this purse was like five or six dollars. It's just perfect. It go my lips, my nails. I love it. But that's what we wear at night with the outfit and a trench coat. Because I got to remind y'all, I'm wearing a trench coat. Because y'all like to tussle. All right. See y'all on the next uh, clip. Yeah. Bye. Okay, y'all. So, we just got back in the car from Crumble Cookies. As you could tell. Hey, watch out now because it's a cookie in there. Okay, well, you're not holding it close to the camera. That's what, she, that's what the box looks like. Anyway, you guys. Oh. So, she got the New York cheesecake. So, we about to try it. I mean, well, she about to try it. I ain't about to try shit. You need to let me get a little I'm bite. Gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. Note to self, do not put the wig back on and not do nothing to it. <laughs> Cause this looks a hot mess. <laughs> Let me try this. She gave me a little piece, y'all. Cheers. I should have cheers this. Oh, hold on, y'all. Cheers. Can you taste it? Can we get out from the thing like right here too? What thing? Right here. Girl, why? You act like you work for them. I don't. Is it good? It's all right. Sorry. I could understand though why people's opinions will say this cookie is nasty or these cookies are nasty. They're not all that though. I think that's why people are saying that. It's not all that. They're not, but it's pretty good though. It's decent. That is so big. But just imagine paying for it. And why it look like that? Inside? It look raw. Yeah. You put that in the oven at home. You need to go right back in the oven. You look wrong. It looked like they put it together and that was it. I'm just going to just eat around it. Eat all the all the sides. No, I'm gonna finish it at Yeah. Now if you put it in the uh oven, scrape the cheesecake off, put the cookie in the oven, put the cheesecake back on. I bet you it tastes crazy. Keep the cheesecake on it. Cheesecake is not supposed to be warmed up. It's a chilled garnish. Will I die if I do that? No, but it's sure gonna taste strange. Okay, y'all, so I'm at H-E-B. Let me tell y'all a story. I know this music playing. Lord, I'm trying to talk real loud. Get it. Get the one that say playing. Y'all, tell me why I am gonna stay away from this together. I'm gonna stay away from this. My coworkers told me, uh, so my coworkers are from different parts of the United States. Get through you. My coworkers are from different parts of the United States. Tell me why one of my coworkers have family members in Ohio. I, I don't know if it's Ohio or Idaho. I don't know what state that was. Tell me why did she said the Chobani factory. They, one of her family members live close to the Chobani factory and it was nothing but flies flying in and out the place, flying in the yogurts. It don't look secured. It was just a lot going on. And she said it'd be bugs. It just be flies all around that factory. Where the Chobani factory. I don't know how true that is, but she telling me, I mean, obviously she was over where the factory was. So the best one that I'm gonna use 
the one that I'm gonna use is um Faj Faje. I, I did my research, y'all. And I said this is good. Now the reason why I'm picking these up is because these are Greek yogurts and they don't have no uh dairy in them. And she then these are the best ones. Chobani was the best one to me because it didn't have no dairy in it. And uh, I, I get the uh, H-E-B one that does not have any dairy in it, either plain. I only do plain Greek yogurts. But y'all, when she told me that, I'm gonna have to stay away from Chobani until I just figure out if her story is true. Cause you know, they'll tell you anything. I tried this one before, it is not good. So delicious. That's so delicious. So delicious, dairy free. I don't like that. It don't taste good. It don't even taste like no damn yogurt. It tastes like liquid, like them drinkable uh, yogurts. I forgot what it was. I just wanted to share that with y'all. This music is insane. This music is wild. And I know YouTube is like with the eyes. So I'm gonna hit y'all back up on the next clip. I don't think it's gonna be no more today. Yeah. Good morning, y'all, and welcome to another day of the vlog. I am actually printing out some paperwork. Uh, today, um, I have to run a few errands, but including in one of the errands, I have to renew, renew my daughter's uh, passport. She's been out the country, I wanna say six times, maybe five or six times. But anyway, that's irrelevant, but I need to, uh, she's been had her passport and this is the time, it, it, it expires in two months. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. It expires in two months and we going on an international vacation again on, um, I wasn't no vlogger. I was no vlogger when I uh, took her on those few vacations. I'm just renewing her passport today, but that's one of the errands. That's later on in the day. Um, not too sure if I'm gonna film that. That's kind of weird. But um, I'm just making like you know the copies. Do you know the photocopies? Hold on, y'all. <laughs> this is a weird angle. But yeah, I'm just making some photocopies of like my driver's license, front and back, her birth certificate. Um, just in case if you guys are interested in getting your child a passport or whatever like that, make sure that you know you have all your documents. I don't know if this is helpful. Obviously, you can Google this, but. Sometimes, you know, when we watch our watch YouTube videos, sometimes we're not thinking to Google something. We just kind of watch them and come across what a vlogger says or a YouTuber says or a content creator says or an influencer says, if that makes any sense. So, yeah, I even made a copy of her old passport because this is her uh, one. This is her current one. It's not old, but it's her current one. And yeah, I have to send that to so I just like making copies of everything. I don't think they need a copy of that passport because they're gonna actually have that passport. But I've done this before, it's nothing. But anyway, enough for all of that. But let me sit y'all down right here. So yeah, I need to um, take care of that a little later on today. But right now we about to go to Starbucks because I want uh, a matcha. And uh, I need to go get my eyes checked. That's for sure. Let me make sure I have all my stuff. Cause I'm gonna be out all day and I ain't got time to be going back and forth. Let me make sure I put my ID back in here. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't got time to go back and forth. Like I got a lot of stuff to do today. But yeah, first things first, I have to, um, let me turn this off, okay. Yeah, first things first, I'm gonna go get me a matcha. I'm gonna take y'all with me. I'm gonna get me a matcha and then I'm going to uh, go get my eyes checked and I need to pull up to the gym and then, yeah, I'm gonna do a workout. Yeah, I'm gonna pull up to the gym, work out for a little bit. Um, what else I gotta do? I might stop at Dee Dee's and look through their jeans. I never wore no jeans from Dee Dee's. I wore their jean shorts, but I ain't never wore their jeans. But yeah, this is what we looking like today. The stomach is stomaching. The abs are abbing. Y'all see what we doing? I mean, it's not flat, flat, but y'all know I got PCOS, y'all. Okay, so y'all see that little pudge? Hold on, let me make sure y'all see it. Okay? We ain't fine, fine, but we fine. So yeah, 
but I still need to lose some weight. I'm actually, I'm probably going to talk about this in another vlog, y'all, because I ain't going to run y'all head off. I ain't going to run my mouth off about all this fitness stuff until another vlog. But, um, yeah, y'all, that's what we're doing today. So, let, let me get out this house. I'm going to catch y'all when I get to Starbucks because I want a matcha. And I deserve a matcha. So, we're going to get us matcha. We're like, girl, why is you getting a matcha before you work out? Because I can Cause I got stuff to do before I work out. Like I ain't gonna be able to work out until midday anyway. So anyway, I'll catch y'all when we in the car and we at Starbucks. Yeah. Hey y'all, we back in the quarter. I look kind of weird with this ponytail. I don't really like it. I like my hair down. I don't know. That's just like my city. And I don't really like this little swoop either. And I don't like this little fake baby hair I did. But it is what it is. I still look pretty. I don't know if I want a matcha or if I want I don't know if I want a matcha or a dirty chai. Hi, thanks for waiting. What can I get started for you? Yes, can I get a uh, a matcha? A uh, matcha latte? Yes, let me get a matcha latte, light ice. What size? Uh, can you make it a grande? Sure. And can you make it with oat milk? Right. And do you guys have that affogato shot? Yeah, we can do that for you. Yeah, can I get one shot of the uh of that? And let me get, um, on top of it, can you do like a vanilla cream cold foam? Sure, anything else? Um, let me check. I think that's it. Thank you. I don't know if y'all heard that before, but it's on the app. It's, I tried it the other day, I just wasn't filming. I tried it like about a week ago. It's an affogato shot. And it's really really good um it's like an espresso shot it's the same it's the same idea concept whatever but like i said it's really really real good so and it's very potent and the last time i had it baby i was up i was really 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 like hype after i had it so that's gonna help me through the day because i got um right now oh excuse me right now i gotta go get my eyes checked and then, oh, I need to take these little off. This is so stupid. These are like some blue light glasses. Y'all, I wear real glasses. Uh, I, I can't wait to wear my real glasses again. I've been wearing these blue light glasses. Of course, I wear sunshades because my um, my optometrist that I'm about to go see, they told me, like, you got to wear sunshades unless you're getting your eyeglasses photo grade. Like, if you're getting photo grade in your eye, which I don't. I think that's a little too old school. I'm old school, but that's a little too old school to get the little photo grade is when you get like the little, when you go out in the sun, your regular eyeglasses turn into shades, pretty much. Like they turn into sunglasses, like they block the sun. I don't like that because I like different styles of eyeglasses and I like different styles of sunglasses. So that's why I don't get photo grade. So, and not saying it's ugly or anything. That's just, I just don't like getting photo graded. Okay, y'all. So I'm back from Starbucks, but I feel like they gave me the wrong drink. Why does my matcha look like this? It don't look green. On the label, it say matcha, though. Oh, my God. I think the affogato shot, though. Okay, let me tell you something about the affogato. Let me taste it. Hold on. If it's, if it's the wrong drink, I don't care. But the affogato shot is very, very dark. Never mind, it's the right drink. <laughs> yeah, they, I think they gave me two shots of the affogato, which is okay. I'm not the type of person that cares when it comes to how sweet my drink is. I did add the vanilla sweet crown, uh, cold foam because I thought it would be a little sweeter with it. But that affogato is too powerful. But it's green. Y'all see it's green. Last time I got it in a wrap. The reason why I'm a hesitant and I think it's the wrong drink last time but it's the right drink but last time let me let me get to this last time last time i got this but i got it in a matcha wrap and i should have got a matcha wrap but anyway last time i got it was a matcha wrap and it was green but then they 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 did the the wrap they blended the wrap first and then they put the affogato shot on top so that's why it my wrap looked at more green than this drink it is what it is. But anyway, I'm almost to the eye 
I got for y'all. Because I kind of talked y'all head off. And I was like, I ain't got much to say right now. So, I'm going to hit y'all back up. Ooh. I don't know when I'm going to hit y'all back up. I don't think y'all want to see the eye doctor or nothing like that. I hate this little area when it comes to the road. Because the road is not vehicle friendly. Yeah, I'm going to have to cut y'all probably later on. I'm not sure. Yeah. I do got to go to DD's and stuff like that. I don't know if I should take y'all in, in DD's or save that for another vlog. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I'll catch y'all later on. Hey, y'all. It's later on the day, but um, I don't know if I'm adding earlier to the vlog. But right now, we're about to get ready for a concert. Plus a night out. So you know what that means. We're going to be out for a very, very long time. Yeah. I look real crusty right now, but I just applied my wig. I'm going to fix it. I'm going to make sure, you know, it doesn't look all shiny where I sprayed the, um, the even spray. This is the spray I use. I don't know if you guys are aware. If you guys are new here, I have to make sure I say that. But if you guys are new here, this is the spray I use to apply my wigs. So I'm gonna get rid of all like the little crustiness in a second. And then I'm about to apply a full face, like a really full face of makeup. I'm gonna make sure everything is kind of put together. It looks really, really good. Because we're gonna be seeing like thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of people, okay? So yeah. This is what I use and it stays on all night. I'm gonna use some um, makeup wipes. I get these from like uh, Dollar Tree, Family Dollar. A lot of places have this one. It's called Global Beauty Care. And I get the ones that has the retinol in it and I get the ones that has like the charcoal. So we're gonna use those to get kind of like that crustiness off the wig. I might as well just do that right now cause I don't want, you know, I don't want that in my makeup because I'll be putting like bronzer up here. So let me make sure it's no like spray marks on there. Yeah, so it's going to be a lot of interruptions. So I'm probably going to do a lot of, uh, what is that piece of hair? Oh, what? but anyway, y'all, so I tried to go and uh, renew my daughter's passport and it was just a lot it was it was a lot today um it wasn't like it was hard to renew it it was the people that i had to deal with so yeah <sighs> enough on that but we're here now and we're about to get ready for a good time i'm probably gonna clean up my brows even though you know i don't have much brow hair y'all you know i'll be creating brows so i'm probably just gonna create this so it doesn't have like any excess here i mean uh shave it sorry and I'm making sure I don't have any excess dirt on my face too. I'm just using like the bottom of that same white and I'm getting the excess dirt off my face. So, so we on a clean slate. This wig, I've never seen this wig before. I've been wearing it. I've been wearing it. I don't know if I filmed when I was wearing this wig. It's not that old. It's about maybe like three weeks old. I've wore it out a few times. It's a beautiful wig. It's very, very long, by the way. It's like 32 inches. I cut two inches off, so now it's 30 inches. Y'all gonna see it, but I'm going to straighten it and bump it at the ends. I'm not gonna wear it in like, cause this is the last, this is how it was last time. It was like, you know, little fair faucet curls. It was cute, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I think I filmed that night, did I? No, I didn't. I didn't film. I wasn't vlogging, y'all. So yeah. So y'all gonna get a lot this vlog. I mean, this uh, weekend or so. You know, lace is a material. It is not. I mean, sometimes some people can melt it real good. But I think it looks good enough. I'm gonna put some like powder right here. So it can kind of look a little bit better than that. And kind of camouflage it a little bit better. But this is the best I can do. And you know, it's a fix to my head. I'm gonna make sure like this is a little bit more pressed down. Anyway, y'all, I am doing too much talking. This is going to be a speed through with some interruptions. So I will see y'all on the other side once I get my whole self together. Because I want to get rid. I want to actually get out the house in 40 minutes. I do.
and I know it's going to take me 40 minutes, the whole 40 minutes. I got to apply nails and everything. So I will show y'all all that when I get, oh, I might as well just show y'all, you know, I'll see y'all on the other side. Bye. Yeah. To the world. Yeah. Oh, y'all, keep your bread up. This shirt a little lopsided but I actually did it on purpose so you can kind of see the white bra a little bit cuz I'm about to show y'all why I'm showing my white bra but I have on like the uh which call it the, the tuxedo the denim tuxedo whatever you call it it's something tuxedo and I wear these a lot but I wear these a lot around rodeo time cuz I don't know if I told y'all the I'm going to the rodeo tonight Crooked. Is it because of how they're placed? They look crooked. Okay. Okay, they're not crooked. Maybe it's the brows. Okay, that's better. Okay. I don't know why they was looking a little crooked. Anyway, I'm wearing like denim on denim. Basically, that's what that means. It's denim on denim. And I usually wear this like around rodeo time. I mean, it's so fitting. But the reason why my outfit, my outfit is very like kind of basic is denim on denim and I got like barely any jewelry on. I got on bracelets, but you cannot see them. This shirt, this shirt, this top is from Akira. I don't know if y'all can see that. And my shorts are from Didi's. I'm gonna show y'all everything. Um, but yeah, let me show y'all the shoes I'm gonna be wearing. Cause y'all gonna be like, the shoes I'm wearing. Oh, the nails I got it from Shein, by the way, y'all. These are pretty long. I didn't expect them to be long. The These rings are from Miss A. Necklace from the store on Harwin. Harwin. These glasses are from Shein. And this wig is from the Beauty Supply Store. It's a very, very long wig. Y'all gonna see. And I kind of like did it a little messy. I didn't want anything to be perfect. I don't know, it's the rodeo. And the wind gonna be whipping when I'm walking from the, yeah, it's just gonna be a lot. So let me show y'all the shoes. So I got my shoes from Akira. Okay, I got some boots, some cowgirl boots. I got some cowgirl boots, y'all. And they was not cheap. They was not cheap, but it's so worth it. It's so worth it. So. I got them in a bigger size. Like I got, I wear a 10, by the way. I wear a size 10 in shoes. I do not wear any other size but 10. But I know that cowboy boots hurt, okay? So when you see these shoes, okay? Don't be screaming the, uh, the top of your lungs or whatever like that when you see this. These are the shoes. They are white. What is that? Oh, I'm like, these are white. Okay, now. I'm getting stuff on my boot already. Okay, so yeah. These are white, but dazzled. Silver got wings on them. They long. They are white and silver boots. The heel is silver. They're beautiful. So pretty. I love them. I'm so in love with them. Oh my God. Y'all, these boots was $179. $179. It's the box. It's the box. Size 11. Size 11. 
yeah so tonight if somebody step on my shoe we squabbling we gonna be fighting if you step on my shoe we will be fighting <laughs> so <laughs> or and in the store i got so many compliments they was like girl you have to buy them. i had i was trying on some uh colorful boots it was like some teal green and those boots the uh the teal green bluish whatever boots that i was trying on those were not cheap either they was like 120 something the reason why i splurge is because i never buy expensive stuff the most expensive things that i ever buy myself is fragrance that's it my wigs don't be no more than what 50 60 dollars at the highest at the highest okay so Ooh, they look so good. I'm going to show y'all the full outfit. This is so cute. I feel so cute. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, this is it, honey. This is giving all... Last year when I went to the rodeo, I wore all leather. I wore leather shorts, a leather top, and some cowgirl boots. And then... My cowgirl boots were like snakeskin-ish, esque, whatever. And they had like lime green on them. And it was lime green, white, and black. These this year are all white with silver. So, they are so cute. And they're, they're all the way up to the knee. Let me go get the purse that I'm wearing with it. This is the purse that I'm wearing with it. It's from Shein. It just goes with it. Silver, I was gonna do a white purse, but the silver purse pops it out you know y'all i am 45 minutes but no i'm an hour behind schedule so let me show y'all what i'm wearing and then we're gonna be out the door uno momento okay y'all so I, excuse the lighting in here it is not the best lighting but this is the outfit okay and this shirt it ties like you could tie it around different ways um, I tied it in the front. I did a little peekaboo moment. I have the little tie right here. These jean shorts. Let me pull it down so y'all can see everything. Okay. These jean shorts I got from DD's a long time ago. Like I want to say two years ago. Let me fix. They look kind of crooked. Okay. So, and they're kind of distressed. So it gives a little edgier look. I ain't want to turn around. I mean, no, my butt not showing, but this is what the booty look like. The body is body. Y'all see that? Y'all see the booty? Come on. Y'all see that? That's cute. Okay. So it has like the little distress thing on the pocket. You're looking cute. Let me show y'all the shoes. So here is the shoes. Y'all see the shoes? So cute. Big old thunder thighs with lots and lots of shine. That's how we rock in the night. They're so comfortable because I got them in a bigger size. But yeah, those boots are so comfortable or these boots are so comfortable because I got them in a bigger size. And like I said, I wear a 10, but I got them in an 11. Baby is looking flawless. We looking thick and juicy, and we waited a party. So I will catch y'all when I catch y'all, and let's have some fun. I'm gonna be vlogging, but I might not be a lot. It might not be a lot talking to. I'll catch y'all. Yeah. Let's enjoy the night. I don't know what to say. I'm just about to have some fun. All right. Bye bye. Nine on one, shall be tribe, look alive, look alive. Niggas came up on this side, now they on the other side. Oh well, fuck them dog. We gon' see how hard they ride. I get rested, boy outside, and I split it with the cop. We up on the other side, niggas acting like we tied. I've been gone since like July, niggas acting like I died. They won't be expecting shit when cap up for the slide. Cause I told them that we put that shit behind us, but I lied. Hey, hey, look who I'm around, man. If I fuck up, I'm gonna be downtown, man. Full flow down, man. That's if I get caught, man. Push me to the end, so it really ain't my motherfucking fault, man. I'm not the blame, man. The fucking industry is cutthroat. I'm not the same, man. And I can let you check the tag. Now I'm rocking name brand. I'm only chasing after bags. Now I got a game plan. And I'm out here with the 
700, 3 out 5 Took a lot, took a lot Niggas came up on this side Now they on the other side Oh well, fuck them dog. We gon' see how hard they ride I get racks to go outside And I spit it with the guy We up on the other side Niggas actin' like we tied I been gone since like July Niggas actin' like I died They won't be expecting shit When Capo go to slide Cause I told them that we put that shit behind us But I do